many sternly ordered him to be quiet. But he cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verses 48. Good morning, dear friends. Once there was a group of tiny frogs who arranged a climbing competition. The goal was to reach the top of a very high tower. A big crowd of tiny frogs had gathered around the tower to see the race and cheer on the contestants. The race began. No one in the crowd really believed the tiny frogs would reach the top of the tower. The contestants heard throughout the race statements such as, Oh, way too difficult. They will never make it to the top. Not a chance they will succeed. And the tower is too high. The tiny frogs began collapsing one by one, except for those who in a fresh tempo were climbing higher and higher. The crowd continued to yell. It is too difficult. No one will make it. More tiny frogs got tired and gave up. At the end of the race, all had given up climbing the tower except for the one tiny frog who after a big effort was the only one who reached the top. All the other tiny frogs wanted to know how this one frog managed to do it. They asked how he, how he had found the strength to succeed and reach the goal. It turned out that the winning frog was deaf. The story is not asking to be deaf always to the other's advice, but be prudent in listening others. In today's gospel, we have a man who prudently resisted the advice of the crowd. It is the blind Bartimaeus. It took a lot of guts and persistence for Bartimaeus to call Jesus to his side. Many discouraged him not to disturb Jesus, but his persistence saw the results. He received sight. In our life journey, many a time we do not do what is right or ought to be in fear of what others would think. In our life journey, many a time we do not do what is right or ought to be in fear of what others would think. Jesus is giving a warning those who do not have the guts to do what is right. Jesus himself was prudent in listening to others. He rejected the advice of the advice of his own disciples when he knew it will take him away from the mission for which he has sent. It is well rejected in the saying, Satan, go away. Jesus, through today's miracle, asking you and me personally, do you dare to be with me? Once it so happened to John, when he reached at the doors of heaven, God said, John, I am afraid. What others would say if I let you in. Friends, during these during this moments of prayer, let us think, will God ask me the same question that he asked John? Matulavar in the Vijayarikim and North, Chien and Anmagal Nyan Chedilla. In the Sorgamadical Kathunul Kumbu, they even some shake yan. In the Sorgatil Kaitia, Matulavar in the Vijayarikim. Let us reflect. Thank you.